Pepe Le Pew, the controversial French skunk of the Looney Tones, will not appear in Space Jam, a new legacy because his scene has been cut. So it is out of the sequel to the 1997 film. As reported in Deadline, there was a scene in the hybrid image movie, Reland Drawings, that was shot in June, 2019, and in which both Pepe Le Pew and actress Grease Santo appeared. This particular scene was filmed by the first director of Space Jam, A New Legacy, Terence Nance, but it has been cut by Malcolm D. Lee, who has replaced him. They didn't even liven up the scene. In it, the following would happen. Pepe would appear in black and white as if it were the scene of Rick's Cafe in Casablanca. Pepe, who acts as a bartender, begins to approach a woman from the bar played by Santo. He starts kissing his arm and when she retires, he throws Pepe into a chair next to her. He throws the drink at him and fits him, sending him away, until he stops the hand of LeBron James. Both he and Bugs Bunny are looking for Lola, and Pepe knows where she is. He tells the boys that Penelope has registered a restraining order against him. James alludes in the script that Pepe cannot approach any other character without his consent. Santo has known that his scene with Pepe Le Pew has been cut and has bothered him because he believes that the bug gets what he deserves. It was something important for Grease to be in this movie, said a spokesperson for Santo. Even as Pepe is a cartoon character, if someone commits an act of harassment like him, Grease wanted to be. Now that we won't see the scene, they won't be able to influence the new generations who see Space Jam 2, because boys and girls should know that Peep's behavior is unacceptable. Santo has been a victim of sexual harassment and has run against it. In addition, he recorded a single called Vokey Vokey with Grammy-winning producer Umberto Gattaca, in which they encourage women to rise up against sexual predators and harassment. Santo actually has a non-profit association with Greece that helps victims of domestic violence and helps them change their lives for the better. By the way, Pepe Le Pew has appeared in the New York Times by the hand of columnist Charles M. Blow, who has described him as a character added to the culture of harassment, what a skunk, ladies and we give.